story to tell about a misguided angel who fluently fell. Frank was an average boy. No, I'll say a man fresh out of school with no particular plans. There's no college for Frank. Cause Frank wasn't smart instead of academic skills. He was blessed with heart. Some people say that this was a blessing in disguise. But this fact will soon lead to Frank's demise. Getting ahead of myself, getting back to the present. It hit him hard when he couldn't afford a birthday present for his beloved mother. Who worked so hard and keep food on the table so that he didn't start with this in the mind. If this ambitious young man decided to get a reputation by joining a gang, hit the street because the only man black he knew who wasn't poor was the man selling crack. fell out of place, he didn't talk about it, didn't want to seem weak, or want to be doubted, he built his way up the ranks, selling drugs to neighbours, didn't take any shit but knew when to do favours, one day he was out, selling rocks, when a kid came down the road, shouting the cops, he dissed the coke and crack he had on him and ran, the police cornered him, put him in the back of the van, police brutality, when he didn't say a word, or cooperate by making the real truth heard, his mother was sick, so he got his own place, she would Rejected his words, threw him back in his face, more and cold and bitter. Frank hated the world, so he took it out on people who didn't deserve it. One day he was the trip door and scuffed his shoe. Just a kid, but now he lives on hospital food. Frank carried on like this until one summer he saw his friend selling crack to a pregnant woman, packed up his things and moved back with his mum, promised to get a job and work as hard as he can, apply for McDonald's cleaning, work until the year, but he kept on pursuing the minimum wage, he felt better in himself, even though he was poor, knowing that his heart and soul and body were pure, he reflected one night after the nine hour shift, that life was good, even though he'd never be rich, life's too short to ruin it, that's a fact, then the same night he saw the boy who he attacked, he recognised his face, but what was worse was the gun in his hand, he should have noticed this thirst, Frank looked up, said sorry, started to cry, he said that's what you think, put a bullet between his eyes. Yep. Press the button.